In this tutorial, we would like to give you an overview on the permission concept in the Empower library so that you have a good insight on which actions are available for you in the Empower library, depending on your Empower user and the rights that have been granted to them. We use the Empower version 9.2 in the PowerPoint application. However, the permission concepts are also available throughout all other Office applications where Empower offers the add-in for. To start off, we have a total of four permission levels. We've got the folder owner slash administrator that can delete, modify, add on all folder contents, including setting additional permissions for other users in Empower. And right next to it, we have the editor and the editor can add, delete, and modify all folder content, no matter if the content has been created by the editor himself or herself, or if the content comes from other colleagues that also have some changing rights in the specific folder. The next permission level, the next lower one, would be the author, who could add, delete, and modify all folder content that the author has created, and they can access the content that have been added, for example, by editors or folder administrators. However, they could not modify these contents that are not coming from their own. The basic permission level that is normally automatically set in the folders is the reader and the reader can access all the contents that are stored in the folders in the Empower library. However, cannot change any of the content, meaning they cannot upload content back to the folder, overwrite or delete content. So this is the overview on the permission levels. I will explain why we have a slightly different denomination of folder administrator and owner once we go into the Empower library and we will do so by clicking on the button to open up the full view of the Empower library. Now depending on the Office application you are Working with the number of sections in the Empower library may differ. However, the basic permissions that are set are normally the same. What does that mean? As a user, you have reading rights on the company library as well as the corporate design templates, meaning that you could download any of the content that is coming from the corporate design templates. We are talking, for example, if we quickly check the quick access pane about tables, charts, slide templates to further work with them or company library content. I will not go into detail on how to work with the Empower library itself because there is another tutorial dedicated to it. Please check this tutorial for more information. When it comes to the user library as a user, you have your full administration rights here. You are the folder owner to your user library. Short disclaimer before I'm going into detail, depending on the decisions made in your company, the user library might be deactivated. If you have access to the user library, it will be empty once you open up the Office application after installation. You will have a folder called My Content available. The Share With Me folder might only come if other people share content with you. I will explain that in a couple of minutes as well. And this My Content folder can be used for your own purpose. You could add a new folder to it, for example, let's call this folder tutorial. And if we now check the permissions in this specific folder, and this is working for all folders in the Empower library, you could either navigate to the navigation bar on top and click on permissions, or execute a right click on the desired folder and click on folder permissions. Now, for demonstration purposes, I am logged in with the user called Empower User, and we can already see that I'm the folder owner to this folder, which applies to all the 
folders that I create under my content in the user library. However, I could, for example, if I need to collaborate with my colleagues on a temporary basis, add a colleague to my specific folder. And this would work for all the administrators amongst you in the company library as well if you are the folder administrator. Click on the button Add and search through the directory system that is been syn being synchronized synchronized to your Empower environment. So I'm going to search for the Empower admin because it's the only other user that is available on this testing system. I found this user and I select it and click on Add to confirm my selection. And what we can see now is that this user has by default reading rights as well. So this is a normal behavior. Whenever you try to add someone to a folder, if you have the specific rights, for, of course, reading rights will be the first ones that will be set. If we click on the split button here, we see that all the permission levels we have initially talked about are listed here with a short explanation added as to what they are capable of doing in the specific folder. And we can simply click a different level here. For example, I want the Empower Admin to be the editor so that the Empower Admin can add own content and even edit my content. And I just close this window if I'm satisfied with the selection I've made. If I go back to this folder again, we see that here, click on folder permissions, we see that the overview stays the same. And we also have a button called reset permissions. So what does this button mean? Normally, we have the permission set in the folder inherited to a subfolder, meaning that all the permissions I set, for example, in my content or that are set in my content, are inherited to the folder tutorial. And since I'm working for demonstration purposes in my user library, of course, the default permission set for my content is me being the folder owner. So as I added, added the admin here for a second user, I have already broken the inherited permissions. So I could, if I made a mistake, reset the permission here so that would that they would relate back to the folder permission set on the level above. I will be asked if I really want to restore all of the passed down permissions. And if I click on OK, we see that the permissions are set back to the initial ones. So this is working for all the empower administrators amongst you in the company library as well if you are a folder administrator here and for the users it's working perfectly fine in the user library. What I just demonstrated in the user library is a way of inviting other people to see the content stored in your user library under my content and if you do so which would be in my case, the Empower Admin. The Empower Admin would have the additional folder called Shared With Me added to the user library. And if you open up the drop down menu, now I have an additional one from another demonstration. This folder called Tutorial would be displayed for the Empower Admin as well. And they could work within this folder according to the permission they have been granted with. So this is the way of granting permissions in the Empower library for the users as well as for the administrators, elaborating a permission concept that is applicable for your company. And it could also serve as a way to work with confidential content because it's also possible to remove all the reading permissions that are set by default on a specific folder to even have a more in-depth permission concept and ensure that only people that are allowed to see specific content can access this content here. 
Now feel free to test all the information you've received for the permissions in the Empower library yourself. For more information on Empower, also check our other tutorials.